Attention gamers! Welcome to the latest and greatest of Hunger Games technology the newest battle royale that's completely free to play for everyone with a paid WoW subscription, where a bunch of middle-aged past their prime gamers of all shapes and sizes come together to wait for phase 3 of SOD while fighting for the title of last man standing, this is Plunderstorm, and this is my retail WoW character list because when Blizzard says limited time event they really mean ad for retail WoW as the strategy here is if you make us stare at these every day and then you say we can touch them, eventually we can't resist, aka the pair of tits fallacy from marketing school but the game is fully all about the WoW branding, you play as all the races from WoW. All the homicides are hosted in a WoW zone and just to really double down on the Warcraft branding everything is pirate themed. What? I choose to play as a Dark Iron Dwarf because they are the best and anyone who disagrees with me is then racist and then you ride a pirate hat wearing parrot into a bloodbath that is based around a few simple concepts. The bread and butter to this paywalled experience are the abilities you loot, upgrade, and chain combo together to absolutely lay some pipe on chicks named Evelyn. And the number one thing to keep in mind is that this one f***ing sucks. When my basic auto attacks do 7 damage, why would an ability do 4? Because it has a dot effect too Rav. Bruh. The second thing to consider is that this one sucks too. Why don't you try inviting people to get sucked into the black hole that you just pulled out of your pocket because let me tell you there's little interest among the sample I've tested. But if you slow them and stun them first you can stage an epic walk away. Five minutes later. The second thing to painfully learn is that there is a storm that's always shrinking so if you think you are going to complete the sleeping bag quest chain on your 17th alt and then you realize, shit, it's not going to feel good. But that's the concepts and considering only people with 200 bucks of disposable income a year can partake it's truly a fortnight for dads where 1% of the time you run into the rank 1 gladiator arena champ I time enemy cooldowns with my toes under the desk mechanical gods. It's all good. Slow. We just slow. Just slow. No, no, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Running, running, running. Actually, the rest isn't done yet. He's, try he's trying to race, trying to race. He's going for it, he's going full send. I stopped it, I stopped I it. Yeah, I might not bug. I kill, I kill. Oh my gosh, bro, we almost just- <laughs> <Okay. laughs> The other 99% of the time you'll run into players like this. And thus success in this battle royale with a dad bod can be achieved by following these simple tips. For starters whoever said Polly wants a cracker never offered him the chance to suicide bomb onto a pack of unsuspecting shitters as it kills everything on sight so I'd recommend white knuckling that bird onto an elite every match as they guarantee to drop an ability. Just make sure you are the one to pick it up. The second tip is to gauge a player's skill by their level, if you hover them and they are the same age as you, run like a pussy until you find someone smaller than your own size to pick on. Here I see a level 5 which is dank but then even better a level 4 at this point means this man is probably first timing a computer. And the last tip is to never chase a shitter in the early game. Here you can see I have dick and limp when it comes to early game mobility so when I slowly wither down this father of six he decides to reveal that he is actually training for a half marathon and your dumbass decides he's worth the chase. You've now wasted an insane amount of time and others who start joining in are looking a bit older. By the time it's over everyone you hover has 5 levels on you so now you have to be the bitch who runs from every fight which leaves you with one of two options. 
Accept your fate and learn your lesson to never chase again. Or find one of these high levels and befriend him. Now you can waste all the time in the world chasing because you and your new BFF are cheating the system. In the end this man probably agreed to team up with a level 4 because I would be the easiest last person in the world to kill but for now we were going to slaughter this chappy dad together. Sure he might have some colorful things to say but he made the mistake of telling you to be a man when it's 2024 and you very clearly stated you identify as body type 1. A dark one at that so really I think the reportable offense here is clear. But yeah I figured it's only a matter of time before people find a way to ruin this game mode so what you are about to witness is a true gamer's first ever. Never seen this game before, Plunderstorm Annihilation. I nose dive straight into a water elemental and collect a slicing source of kick ass and as I'm slurping up some bitcoin my first target is acquired. I line up a fruit ninja on the looter before obviously declining to get sucked into his pocket black hole. What a shitty ability. It's now down to your standard slap battle but he is low health and outclassed. It's early and his options are limited. As I ignore rule number 1 and chase I just know I'm mechanically on a different level than these players. This is clearly a middle-aged balding man with at least two offspring and he can barely focus. His wife is nagging him from the other room, I can practically hear it. Cut the grass take on, when are you going to fix the bathroom light? I'm in the dad lobby and nothing is going to stop me. Hey guys welcome back to my first ever plunderstorm match. One that started with a speedrun world record to level 3 before seeing a man who clearly cat called the wrong man's wife in this farm town. I'm not sure what everyone was pissed about he clearly wasn't very threatening but I would take care of him. But even though he was a free kill a skilled player knows not to chase. Psych bitch I was just lining up a leap so I could send this knee nibbling garden gnome back to his retail wow character screen. I tear that farm town a new asshole to give me an early XP advantage and then it's time to educate the rest of the lobby on what that looks like. I hit some kids with the cosmic testicle into useless fish head whack combo. Others politely leave me their fire tornadoes in their wills. When these Fortnite dads try to fight me I'm rocking more dodge than a damn Durango. The storm is coming in and little do they know the gatekeeper is Rav the avatar master of the hardcore elements. Anytime I see the kids playing together I inform them that there is a third party about to participate in this cocktail hour and it's about to get spicy. But I quickly learn that at the end of every lobby full of dads, the end comes down to two or three GDKP spammers the min-maxing chain whipping I'll be watching winners and they are going to be tougher to take down so my first ever match has a less happy ending than all the dead dads of the lobby who have conceived children clearly have experienced which meant there was only one thing to do. Bully more first time players. Salmon slap others with the worst abilities in the game until I've collected the best combo in the game, an uncounterable selection. I was disrespecting my opponents, drinking on the job, landing my dismounts to perfection dodging Pluto nuts and denying enemies of their escapes. My abilities were being upgraded to O penis levels that could only be rivaled by a young Johnny Sims and I was willing to dip my toes in the storm to satisfy my craving for more kills. My combos were getting cleaner my kit was getting slicker until the part in the game where I have proven to show my weakness, the part against the only two other good players in the lobby. But this is where I got a 200 IQ idea. <laughs> 